Hey guys, it's the Wicked Stoner Panda 1369. I'm hanging out with Aftermath Garage today. We got Jacob and Jay over here. We are going to talk about drive what you want to drive. Would you like to take it off for us today? You know what? You're actually 100% right. Um, a good intro, by the way. Not bad. What do you think? Well, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> they, we, we love having Pam. Panda Tristan around. <laughs> uh, seriously, guys, let's get into this. Come on, let's do this. So yeah, we are talking about drop whatever you want because you know what? It seems like there's more critics out there than there are anything. I know I give Tristan a hard time a lot because he's stance boy and all back behind him. <laughs> it's okay. It, it is what it is. I mean, we all have our own style. Me, I, if I'm driving an import, I want it low, fast. I ain't got time to worry about de beating the tire if I hit a pothole yeah. or a pebble in the road. I mean, it's kind of how I am, but at the same time. Well, it looks cool at least. Yep. Sometimes. If you do it right, it looks cool. Yeah. And I'm going to kill the computer. Also, guys, we got a new set, by the way. So we're going to have some technical difficulties in this one, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I need like a smaller chair for uh, me to sit on. I need something. You got a big head. I really do. I thought Jacob had a big head. I guess people were wrong about Jacob. Big head. Come on, man. We ain't even talking about cars. Shit. So... What, what's your take on it, Mr. Jacob? Well, drive what you want. Yeah. Hey, drive what you want. I don't care. Just don't talk crap on everybody else's builds because it's automatic or it's, you know, not what you like. That's all I'm going to say, really. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of hate in the car community for yeah. if you drive a muscle car, people hate on the imports saying, oh, it's a mod can, Yeah. Eh, whatever. I can beat this. I can beat that. You know, it's... Everyone just has so much hate, you know, you can't even, your car, you're doing your own build, your money, they're not building for you. I mean. Exactly. Well, I'm glad, glad people, I'm hoping more people will listen to this because, I mean, it is true. I mean, we've went through some, some pretty crappy people, you know, builds that we know yeah. of, I think people we know, that turned out really good. One person that gave up on one just a little early, but it's okay because he got something better. Yeah, much better. Uh, but yeah, there's. I, I don't get it. I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say I don't criticize people because I do. Because some stuff just is. It's, I hate to say it. I mean, I'm sitting here saying, drive whatever you want. But at the end of the day, I may I may cut up and jerk around with you about what you got, but. It's your car. Do what you want to do with it. Like if you want to throw a big wing on it, if you want to scrape on it, if you want to scrape on the ground, that's you. You do you. You know. I mean, get stuck on a pothole <laughs> or a man speed hole cover. Speed speed hole. <laughs> man that's the main one. <laughs> you know, if you got friends with you, get them out to bush. You know. I mean. Yeah. Let me take it. Hmm. Got your Altima. I mean, I got my Altima. Yeah. I, I love that car. Yeah. I mean, I would love to push it to the extreme. Maybe, maybe bag it, like you had said. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to bag it, but. But uh, hard is an Altima, and you yeah. want something better. I mean, put some nice. Uh, what are those? What's called? Start with the V. Boxing or something like that. Boxing. Awesome. Yeah, Boxing awesome. awesome. wheels on it. Bag it with like a nice front lip. Maybe a nice sounding exhaust, not too loud, but a little. Little deep tone to it. And I have thought about the exhaust thing and still and if still would ever check their emails, maybe they would realize that not only do the all wheel drive ultimate guys want stuff, but so do we. That's front wheel drive guys. Front wheel drive. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that does drive me insane and I will I mean you can drive it all you want, but that squatted. Squatted. Tennessee tilt, man. I don't know about y'all. But I used to hate the idea of it 
You know, I was one of those hypocrites, you can say. But people say street princess, small crawler, everything like that. But I think... You know, if you put American Forces, you want to spend that money, like, 3K, 4K for some nice American Force wheels to, you know... To look good. Look good. I mean, that is you. I mean... You're, you're going to have the repercussions of having really big wheels and just those horrible wheel, gas mileage. Those wheel yeah. bearings ain't I, even... I was, I was going to say, horrible gas mileage, because the only thing you did right here was create even more drag, because your back end sitting lower than your front end. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I kind of like it to be honest with you. I mean, not too much like this, not too much where that back end is almost touching that ground, but you know, maybe a little bit, it would look pretty decent. Like, I, I don't know, man. I just, I <laughs> once again, drive whatever you want. Yeah, but I just, look, look at this. All right, what is go. that? Really? I mean yeah. that okay. that to me is a little too much, but maybe a little bit more up. Maybe he maybe put like you know how those people got those airbag systems? Yeah. In the trucks where they could lift it, lower it, maybe something like that, you know, where they could go back to stock yeah. rod height. But you know, if it's permanently set like that, then maybe that's not the story. Right. If you're gonna lift the truck, me personally I'll say lift it all. Um well, what do you think? Hulk. Well, I mean, Hulk. I think it's a perfect example. No, look, I say some newer trucks, all you got to do is put a level on kit on it. Okay. Well, that, that's what I mean. You go higher, uh, and you start in uh, having to upgrade certain suspension parts and, you know, having issues with wheel filament or whatever. If you go with bigger wheels, and it's, you got all that running issues. Yeah, it's a headache. Well, our, our 2004 but, Dodge Ram no, it's you, the same way. Well, it had a two inch lift box in the back, we took them out thinking that it was going to, because it was almost this extreme with the back being this high, but you put a 2,000 pound trailer on it, it wouldn't squat it mm -hmm. just because lip loss, but at the same time, um, I'm not really a big fan of those wheels. Yeah, it's all opinions. Exactly. Well, like, I mean, hitting on somebody for it, like, oh, dude, you shouldn't have got those. It's like, bro. I mean, I'm not going to go up to someone and be like, Bro, those are ugly, though. Why'd you do that? I'm not. Yeah. I'm not gonna hate on this ride. I'm just like that's my opinion. You know, I don't. Not a personal fan. Mm -hmm. But hey, you probably spent like maybe a thousand bucks on them. That's yeah. cool, you know. Yeah. Well, we it's a lot about, of it's a lot of keyboard warriors. Right? That, yeah, that hate. We, we talk about this. Or it's like little fourteen year olds that play Forza all day and don't know the the real logistics behind a car. And they want to hate on somebody for you know having bigger wheels or whatever. Speaking uh, of Forza, Microsoft, if you ever see this, please actually fix the game. <laughs> you know, four G six threes can produce up to 12, 1400 horsepower, not six hundred. Give me a break. Anyway, now this is something I, I, I'm, I'm I'm cool with. Lower trucks, like bagging them. I don't know why notching a frame in the back, covering up the bed. To be honest, that's a little too much to drop for me right there. Yeah, but I mean, well, it's bagged. Yeah, bagged. yeah, if it's bagged, yeah. But this but. is. This is one of those that you, know, you go to downtown Atlanta mm -hmm. on a Friday night back 10 years ago. You'd be riding down through there, going through the tunnels on the overpasses, and you see these guys dropping the back ends down, throwing sparks all over the place. This, that's what this is. You know, I used to, uh, I heard that sometimes they would literally bolt metal plates to the back end. They did. So they would just drop it and just spark it all. It's, yeah. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, now, I'm pretty sure this guy. I think it's, he looks it's bagged. bagged. Oh. It, oh, I guarantee it's bagged. No, nah, he'd be scraped on like crazy. Yeah. I mean, beautiful truck. I'm, I'm a big Lightning fan. I mean, it's, Maybe a, great, it's, 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 it's a great tow. I mean, it, it, it was a great work truck, and that's what happened to a lot of them. Um, you, you hardly ever see one that's in perfect clean condition because. Somebody down through its lifetime has hauled a load of rock, mm -hmm. and towed a uh, 91 Honda Civic because a fuse blew, and then four months later you realize that fuse blew. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this I'm a really big fan of. One of these OBS Chevrolet. Mm. 
nice little lowering kit. That thing's clean. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm not a bow tie fan at all, but I really like this body style truck. And we were talking about this earlier about yeah, three minutes. this is what we would do. Now, Got old them. school muscles. Yep. Yeah, the Mustang. The heaviest cars on the market. Not even on the market, shoot. Well, when they were on the market. You got the Trans Am. We know for a fact these cars that 400, 403, they were slow cars. Uh, they had like 190 something horsepower and three or 400 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> these old muscle cars back in the day when you first bought them, they weren't like they are now. You couldn't go out and buy 800 horsepower Challenger. Yeah. Yeah, these, these guys were slow. You had to turn a lot of wrenches on them to make it faster. Now, this is one of my personal favorites, a 68 yes. 69. It's who don't before, like that car? I mean, before the Charger was a four door? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Before Charger was a four. Now, you want to get in our personal favorites? Yeah. Well, uh, we ain't uh, yet. <laughs> no, I mean, just well, no, it. this is one of Tristan's personal favorites. This yeah, is something right. that he would want to have. R32 Skyline. Yeah. GTR. Looks like it has an R33 front end. Yeah. It's just kind of. Uh, uh, FD. Hey, that's yeah. one of my favorites. I yeah, love that's. FD. I love FDR. So. Yeah. Let's get a good look at it. They really are. Uh, one of my super. favorites, Mark IV Super. I own one in a heartbeat. I would love yeah. to have one of those. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're sick. Now, really, to Tristan's favorite. My Fox, Fox Body Mustang. And so, except mine would be a notchback. I can't wait to actually get videos up on my channel of me putting that... Uh, a 302 in mine. Right now it's a four cylinder non turbo 2.3. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I'd like to do with it, but it's costly. So, yeah, yeah it's one of my personals. So now we kick over to mine. My favorite, number one, actually, I put this backwards, sorry guys, but number one, 1GB one Eagle Talent Mitsubishi Eclipse. Yeah. Long time friend had one, fell in love with these cars, and then I found out what the 4G could actually do. Uh, and of course, the S550 Mustang GT. Hopefully, soon the Altima go bye bye. We'll be tearing it up with that. And then, the S550. Yep. And then to uh, Mr. Right. Jacobs' favorite. Yeah, man. It's clean. Look at that. Yeah. That is pretty clean. I like that build. Yeah, it's yeah. 14. Why is that your favorite? Why? Yeah. Yeah, I've always loved that car. I don't know why. I just have. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful car. See, now, <clears throat> guys, real quick to end this video. I want to say thank you to having Tristan coming out, doing yet another video. This time we ain't wrenching on our cars, which is kind of nice. Yeah. It's been a long, rainy weekend, so. With my car. <laughs> yeah. But. Right, remember, on. drop what you want. Yep. Don't let people judge you for what you have and what you put money into. Exactly. Do what you want, man. That's yeah. all it is. I mean, I was crazy enough to work on a Ford Focus four door back in the day. Yeah. Whatever. No matter what you build, there's always going to be haters. Just, just remember this: with a hot, with, with a lot of hard work and dedication, yep. you can beat anybody. Anybody. Don't let no haters take you down at all, ever, mm -hmm. ever. Guys, remember: dream big. Yeah. That's a wrap.